Um, could all the artists actually stand up and let's give them a round of applause for sharing the work tonight. still life that, in my opinion, kind of is an example of bricolage. Um, it's just a windowsill. Um, this is a portion of a painting of, uh, from Flanders, one of the Flemish paintings of the triptych. And what I like about it is just all the little objects, um, you know, very perfectly rendered. Um, and I think it's also an example of Ricola. Uh This is this amazing shack that I found on Buffalo Creek um, out in West Seneca. And it's somebody's like sculpture dream thing that they just have in their backyard. Um, and it's plywood that they, you know, put together and like old paintings and sculptures. And this is like this crazy feather thing. Um, <laughs> And there's a bar in the house, I mean, like an old Western style bar, and the ceiling is all rotted away. Um, but it's someone who lives out in the suburbs who created this structure that, in my opinion, is very artistic and very creative. And they, you know, did all these little assemblages, little displays of of things that they found or that they acquired probably during the course of their lives and. Um, in my opinion, it's art. This is uh, um, a similar concept to bricolage. It's the idea of free culture that, um, that I think right now in our 21st century, the best things that are created come from pre-existing things. It's a, um, or not the best things, but we can create great things using things that already exist. Um, and so it's, I'm actually kind of anti-copyright. Hmm. Um, this this is another another structure that looks like that is um, again just a lot of different components brought together to create a whole. And this is too. And that's the last slide. Philadelphia. Uh, 
I wanted to get a lot of flapping plastic in the <laughs> movies, but it didn't happen. And maybe we'll see one more of these. Maybe two. Uh, yeah, there's another <laughs> one. See the, you'll see the bad camera work down here. Uh, only in the frame. And also moving a lot. Uh, this is also, this slender aspect of this is another reason I didn't use it. I found out that not all cameras are the same. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is right by uh, LaSalle Park. Uh, right over here is, is a really great collection of um, drift plastic and um, a lot of balloon ribbons. You'll see that slate theory in the back. Oh, there's me. Um, <laughs> I'm scouting sounds and images here. This is in the Adirondacks. Obviously, a beautiful day. <laughs> uh, I think it's a top of Lookout Mountain. It's kind of trees, though. It's, it's a pine tree. Oh, so this is a crane pond. Um, that was an actual uh, image that I took uh, one day this fall in the Adirondacks, and that was the that made up the first video. Of, um, that moving and lapsed on itself. Um, not affected at all here. This is also from Crane Pond. Um, you see the bad camera work really plays to my advantage here. It makes it more <laughs> disorienting. Um, and those are some grasses and in the background is water. And you'll see a little bit of the digital video. Oh, these are chicken of the woods mushrooms that uh, we found on the same day, and we, we had those for dinner. <laughs> it was a beautiful day, We're just growing on a tree. Where were those? Yeah. Where were those? In the Adirondacks. Nice. Uh, same day that I caught the other images. How did you know they were This is, I did a lot of this <laughs> the last couple months, just looking at the computer. Probably spent more time on the computer the last couple months than I ever did. What else to say about that? There's a squeaky wheel mug in there. And <laughs> there's there's actually, right back there. Uh, there might be some more pictures here. Oh, here I am. Trying to point. Oh, how'd that get in there? Really ugly picture. Don't I look like an artist? I'm <laughs> trying to focus the light in the uh, installation room there. You know, obviously things change. <laughs> from that point, that you saw upstairs. Uh, before I finish, I'd like to thank um, Jax and the Squeaky Wheel, um, everybody here, Mark and Goda, Dorothea and Tammy, uh, my friends Franklin and Richard Price and my mom and my brother, and oh, all the musicians, Jim Abramson on the drums tonight, Gabe on the trumpet, and Jax was on the recording, and there was also TJ Borden and Martin Freeman in the recording. And Thomas Stowe. <laughs> I'm Thomas Stoll, or Tom Stoll. Um, so basically, this is a piece, but this is also a, it's an installation piece, but it's also, there was a lot of software involved in this, and if you don't know, I like to program software and spend a lot of time on it. Um, I shot some video last fall. This is a still from the video. Um, I shot a bunch of video, and I thought it would take like two or three weeks to just hack together some software to uh, make you know the whole thing work, and it wound up taking two and a half months. And it's still pretty, uh, like, really terrible software. Um, but I use this thing called Open Frameworks and Open CV. Um, CV stands for Computer <coughs> Model. And basically, that was like the whole guts of the software, and it did everything I wanted to do in terms of taking little bits out of an image and moving it around on the screen and doing different things with algorithms. Um, so there's a still, right? And if you look really closely on maybe a different monitor, you will see that there are little pieces of that little one, that, of the first one there, but that they also 
you can take the little pieces and you can move them around, right? And I have, uh, the software basically makes a database of all these little pieces, they're called blobs or something using contour mapping. And this uh, video is going really, really fast. Um, <laughs> so basically what I decided is you take all these little bits out of images and you put them in a database and what you do with databases is you search using something called k-nearest neighbors, um, all that kind of technical stuff, but basically this could correspond to this and that could correspond to that. And this is kind of its like signature, and the other one's kind of the signature for the other one. You can actually take those two signatures and compare them directly and decide like which image is more similar to the other ones. So that's basically all that's happening behind the scenes in the software. One of the things I did find out is some images are not useful at all because the algorithm that goes through and like finds the little contours didn't wasn't able to do anything with this stuff. This is like a concrete uh, from like the floor of a garage or something. Um, so basically, I did a lot of work in Max MSP and then later with uh, Super Collider, uh, making software to make these pieces. Um, now, for this project, I use the Open Frameworks uh, C++. Um, and what it does is I can, what this means is it, it makes this really big system that I can scale up. So this is from an old piece. This was done with uh, Super Collider a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, I can't remember. Um, and it's doing the same sort of stuff with the images, except for with sounds, where it's basically taking a bunch of them from a database and moving them around. So this is a little blurry, but basically this is the entire system right there. And this is a really good thing to show because it shows like, you know, you have all your images in a database and then you sort of ask it the same way for stuff. And it all comes out. And this thing right here says uh, something called relevance feedback. But the important word is feedback, meaning that the whole system, um, the next step is basically to take feedback from the decisions that computers make and make them better using like artificial intelligence and things like that. This is the genesis for the entire score, right? It's seven chords, and it's going to play through the entire, uh, the, yes. So it's a really simple score. Basically, it just takes the same chords and it transposes them up a half step. And again, half step, half step. So it goes through all of it and actually winds up on the same chord it started out on. Um, it has, there's very, there's like mappings between what I do with the images and with the super collider, you know, with the raw audio, and now what I'm doing with uh, like, you know, written out music. Um, I had a really huge idea for this piece and I wasn't able to do the whole thing, so I'm gonna do a second piece, hopefully. Um, the problem is, but one of the problems is it's going to take about a year probably to do the entire piece because this is really time consuming for say 10 seconds of video and the final thing for some of those sequences I had to, you know, it basically took like, I don't know, 15, 20, 25 minutes just to wait for the computer to go through everything and spit it back out and, you know, it was a really long process. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm committed to free software and to open source software so I am releasing this software as like a library that people who use open frameworks can use. I also have all my music software out there um, and I'm also doing other things um, sort of tangentially related with geolocation and with uh, the Kinect. So, and I'd like to thank all the people from Squeaky Wheel who helped out with this. Thank you very much. Sorry, it unmirrored itself. One second. <clears throat> and here we go. Oops. Great. It's looking perfect on my monitor, but not up there. Awesome. Swap displays. Well, it should be exactly the same. Sorry about this, guys. This is part of working with technology. Is <laughs> it doesn't work the way that you think it's going to work at the least convenient moment. So, um, This is exciting. Yeah? This is an insider. <laughs> 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 
So let's try this again. And this happens. Oh, it's well. right up at the top. Swap displays. Where up? I see. I see. Yeah. Um, you want to come right up to play? Uh huh. It's really sneaky. Go. It's hard. You're gonna have to look oh, there. Yeah. There. <laughs> okay. Funny. It's looking on the wrong one. Gotcha. There we go. Yay. Okay. Thank you for your patience, everyone. <laughs> oh, please don't applaud. <laughs> uh, so my. Um, inspiration for applying to this residency was that I've been working for many years at the Experimental Television Center in Oigo, New York, which was this incredible video arts organization uh, that had been around for 40 years, recently closed, and you could work with uh, both analog and digital tools to do real-time audio and video processing. When they closed, the way that I worked had to change necessarily because I could no longer go there. So I wanted to learn how to use Max MSP Jitter uh, in order to make my own real-time processing tools. Uh, this is a uh, still uh, that you'll see over there uh, from a video I did um, back at the TV center uh, called uh, Lost. Part of this process has been just the whole transition itself. So the video stills that you see printed <coughs> on metal uh, were actually part of this transformation where I had to go back through uh, what I'd made in the past, figure out, I think, think through it a little bit. So I created a series of video stills printed on metal, uh, working with the old information in new ways. And the images that you're seeing here are precursors to the work that I made during the residency. So um, I had started working with Jitter back at the TV center, uh, working with patches <clears throat> that other people had created. And um, so there's one uh, that would separate the video into four copies of itself and uh, buffer three of those copies. So it's playing those back at different rates and then you could use oscillators to control the transparency of how those combine. And um, then I also was able to colorize it and that sort of thing. And so I started off with the one with the trees, um, just doing those four layers and that's it. Then I moved into a piece called Stream that uh, if you went to our, uh, a show in Rochester last fall called Scapes, I had a nine channel piece uh, that was created by doing that and then putting it back into the system repeatedly. Um, then um, another piece I did at the TV Center that relates to what I did during the residency was this called Electronic Landscape, uh, which was made through uh, analog feedback. So this was the genesis of the performance piece you saw tonight, which took a variation of that patch um, that I had been working with, which I altered uh, with the help of um, JT Rinker, who was amazing, uh, teaching me uh, how to actually work with this program during the residency, uh, and my husband. And uh, this is us performing um, with uh, an earlier version of that patch in Malaysia. We actually went there uh, during the residency in January and the footage that you saw in the projected piece, uh, Green Cloud's Temple, uh, was from that residency, as is the piece that's upstairs in the window storm. Um, so, you know, at this point, what I've been able to do is um, learn to work with my uh, MIDI controllers, controlling Max MSP Jitter. Um, I've learned some of the uh, limitations of working in that way. So is no longer just an electronic signal that as long as you uh, plug things correctly and the signal is flowing through the whole system, it'll work. You have to realize that you're limited by the processing capabilities of your computer. And that's actually changed the aesthetic of my work. It's a lot less um, abstracted in some ways because there's only so many processes that you can layer on top uh, before the computer crashes or uh, things slow down so much it's more like a slideshow than a video. 
but I actually am really excited about uh, the new work and I'm looking forward to gaining more proficiency with the program. I feel like what I'm doing now is more uh, a process of sort of collaging or adapting um, and I want to be able to uh, create from scratch. It's a really, really deep program, so there's a, a lot, um, a long way to go with it. But um, I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity I've had uh, during this residency and definitely have learned a lot. So thank you for everyone uh, at Squeaky Wheel. Um, and that's it.